Good morning. This is Mark Nejma from Newsweed.com. I'm just uh, trying to put together my thoughts in terms of what's happening in the world and kind of bring you what's on my mind. What I was thinking is that uh, uh, the West seems to be a little hypocritic. Uh, for one, uh, we've bombed and shelled so many different places. Iraq uh, uh, is one that comes to mind. Libya, back when Reagan was in charge, but we did it with such conviction. We went in, we made the trouble, we got out. Uh, as of recent, it seems like the war that we're not fighting uh, is really about money. Uh, Biden consistent, consistently keeps telling the American people that he's going to try to keep the cost down. I think that he's just so short-sighted in thinking that he can win the election, the midterm elections for the Democrats, by making sure that it's all about the economy, dummy or stupid. Uh, so uh, oddly enough, it seems like we're caving. Uh, we have a president uh, of Ukraine, Zelensky, who uh, is in Ukraine and unbelievably standing with his people without fear. I mean, the man is heroic, but he'll inevitably die or go to prison. Uh, those are the type of men that I wish we had running our country in America, because America is the leader of the free world, or at least it used to be. So where are the markets going to go for a short time? Maybe they'll go up. But this is a very bad indicator for the world and for the global markets to see that America has weakened itself. Now we have to worry about Russia and China working together. If this goes off without a hitch in Russia and Ukraine, then what we're going to see is more problems because China is immediately going to say America has no resolve. We can go into Taiwan and take over. This is going to hurt the Taiwanese people. It's going to hurt our chip manufacturing. We're going to become weak. Without us having the intelligence of our chips, we're not going to be able to fight wars. And we may go into pearl. So what's happening today in the markets? Well, oil seems to be telling us a little bit by bouncing uh, slightly lower and slightly higher. I've seen oil as high as uh, 93.75 an hour ago. I've seen it as low as 92.80 uh, recently. The markets are very smart. They tell us so much. Uh, my investment yesterday in Canberra Energy, sure, uh, it's going to bounce around. It's at risk, but that's not what this is about. I think that we all should think about what's happening. The weakness in American politics, the takeover uh, from the inside of our country towards progressive democratic movement, other worries known as socialism, is killing America. And it's going to kill the markets. You think you're going to be happy right now because... The Dow is, uh, has an implied open of 195 points. Well, you're dead wrong. These markets will come down crashing unless we start to take some action in Ukraine and send a firm message to China that they cannot just move into Taiwan. People are not even listening to the news today, and that's a big problem. Hey, I don't care if you're a pothead or you don't smoke pot or you're just a stock person. you got to listen. We are in danger right now. It's not only about the president we have. It's about the way we think, the way we avoid news. That's the biggest problem. And that's what's on my mind today. This war is about money. Keeping the price of oil down so that the Democrats can win the midterm election. Very, very dangerous. So many comments about Trump trying to, you know, uh, cross over the line with uh, Putin, trying to keep your enemies closer, right? That's what we've taught uh, everyone to know, is that keep your enemies close, as close as possible. And that's what Trump was trying to do. Now we have ourselves in a dilemma where our economy and our whole way of life is at risk. Have a great day. I'll check back with you later. I can tell you right now, crypto is moving up. Uh, last I checked, uh, Bitcoin was almost 40000 uh, which means that the markets uh, should be up since they are tied together. Have a great day.
I'll check back with you midday, hopefully, and we'll talk uh, a lot more about crypto. Thanks.